Alicia Greenfield coming to you from the Yotel, a new hotel in New York City's Theater District on 10th Avenue with a beautiful terrace out here on the fourth floor. We're getting ready to celebrate the premiere of the third episode in the Devil May Care series. So, I don't think this gentleman needs any uh, introduction as to his character, but tell us who are you in the real world? I'm the devil who cares. Me? I'm just here in the corner, watching and enjoying. I'm the agent of the devil, okay? Yes! The devil. <laughs> and, and my only regret, and hopefully there'll be another, is that I didn't get to kill more people. It was terribly enjoyable. Yes, that's it. Just make a wish. Rio, so tonight's episode, as you know, is called Careful What You Wish For. So if you could wish for one thing, what would it be? I wish for more mayhem. I would wish for uh, a million wishes. More blood. Travel anywhere in the world. Unlimited wealth. I, I would just like money to be no object. Uh, I would have uh, my dad uh, coming back. My dad, uh, you know, died when I was younger. So hey, if, I, if I one wish, I would choose that. Yo! What the fuck? So you wrote this episode, Careful What You Wish For. How did you come up with the concept? Um. It was real funny because I, I saw uh, Surreal on um, Instagram. I reached out to him on Instagram. He said he had a, a, a series that he was doing. I said, hey, I could write for that. You know, he told me it was like, tell some crip. So once I reached out to him, he said, yeah, throw, uh, throw me a couple ideas. So I just sat down. I came up with about six or seven different ideas for stories. And I, I told him all, all the ideas that he liked that one uh, the best. So I actually went in and wrote that one, uh, followed by three others that I wrote. But two weeks ago, we came out here talking about how we gonna make this paper and Manos Familia. We gonna move this work, take care of our families. And Manos, kings, that's who we are. Now I hear these fucking decepts out here on our turf. What we made, what we build, selling that shit to our people. Fucking with our bitches. Is this what the fuck we want? Hell no. Nah, man, is this what the fuck we want? Hell no. So, so many questions for you, the creator, the director. So far, if you, um, I don't know if this is like picking a favorite child, but do you have a favorite episode of the three or maybe the most difficult episode? Yeah, so basically, the I think the, the one that was the most challenging to do was uh, be careful what you wish for. The reason why is because uh, the schedule didn't always meet and it was complicated to uh, to basically you know have the actors coming over and over we had to change the location I had to actually change some of the actors so that, that, that was the most complicated one but at the end that's the one that's one of the episodes that I like the most we do that and we had OG status I think it's, you know I'm from Newark, Newark New Jersey and I see gang violence all the time and I say hey it wouldn't it be nice to put a twist on it like gang meets demon we the fucking kings let me hear you say kings. 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 Uh, actually, my character's Carlos. He's one of the head gang members that gets, you know, well, I don't want to give away this, the, you know what I mean, the whole episode, but uh -huh. I'm one of the gang members in the, in the next one. Are you, are you one of the kings? Yeah, I'm one of the kings. Okay. Yeah, I saw a little, a little blur. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. definitely me right there, yeah. <laughs> I'm the first one to die. I'm the first top dog to die. Wait, can we know that? Probably not, but here's a spoiler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, had the great opportunity to play uh, in uh, The Burger to Die For, uh, directed by uh, Cyril uh, Maé. And uh, it was a great adventure, it was a great story, great actors, great director, absolutely. And I really enjoyed to do it, to be in this. Pose the flag! Uh, I am in an episode called uh, Hard Pill to Swallow. Uh, basically, I, uh, it's a drug I take that hasn't been released to the, um, hasn't been released at all yet, and or tested on animals. And I take it 
for uh, I have an uh -oh. infertile in, yeah I have an in, uh, a fertility problem, and then there's some side effects that uh, happen, and that's what happens. Like I love Cyril. I love Cyril. I love working with him. I've worked with him on um, two or three other projects. So yeah, we're hearing that a lot. Everyone loves Cyril. Oh, a, a, amazing director. He has a, a, an amazing style. So hopefully, I can learn from him also. Cyril, amazing maestro of mayhem. So uh, for those who don't know. Um, well, Cyril is one of the best, like, he's the only person I would do the kind of scene that I did with, put it that way. Oh, God, So Cyril <laughs> is the only person I would actually trust in that type of scene. Okay. And he is a genius. Uh, he absolutely knows exactly how to shoot something uh, tastefully, beautifully, and makes you feel really comfortable. And he has a vision. You know, his filmmaker, as a filmmaker, has a vision, and that vision always comes through, and you see that in the finished product. <laughs> Frankly, I'm really impressed with what he's done. With our, if you watch Sci-Fi Network, which is pathetic. We've done really well with almost nothing. This is really good. I mean, the quality, the production values are e extremely high, especially considering the, you know, the, the lack of resources. They're really good. You know, I think you know, and, and yeah, I was I was impressed. It's good. I'm, I like him. And you know, Cyril likes to use his own. He makes his own blood. So there's. He's, how does he do that? He'll be happy to tell you. Do you? Is, but, it, is it a secret? Concoction? No, he loves to tell people about it. He would know better than me, but okay. it's... He, we'll add he that could, to our cereal he makes list. A, yeah, he makes a whole, uh, like a Pepsi bottle full of, of uh, blood. He can make his own blood. Right. I, I loved it, man. It's, it's the epitome of uh, making something out of nothing, you know? Um, you know, this whole community, we, we kind of have a similar set. We're very creative individuals, and we don't let anything stop us, man. We try to make the most of what we got, man, and this was a great example. What a night. What was your... Uh, pretty good shots by uh, Cyril Mahi. He did a really good job shooting those episodes. Um, I mean, he's just not scared to do new things and just keep... Uh, I think that's what's keeping him growing, mm -hmm. is he continues to do new things and try new things. Mm -hmm. Whether they work or whether they don't work, just yeah. try them and do them, and he's kind of fearless in that way, and that's, that's how he's growing. It's because he wants to just keep trying everything he can. He's also ruthless. He, I don't ever shot with him before, but he's like, this is the scene we got to shoot. And you may in your head say, oh, it's too late, or it's too, or too tired, or it's not going to work. And he goes through and he's like, we're going to shoot this scene, and this is how we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So he always, he, he, he takes every measure he can to get the job done, and that's what I respect him. I actually don't think I'm going to look at a burger the same again. Oh, I'm also uh, already editing the next episode. It's called Don't Be So Vain. It's uh, an episode written by Kareem. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the females out there are going to love this episode. It's really funny. <laughs> funny and, and creepy. <laughs> Devil's 
good with alliteration. I like that. Those eyes are freaking me out. <laughs>